The Robotic Rhapsody, A Personal Journey into the World of Bolts and Bites So there I was, standing in the middle of my living room, face to face with what could only be described as the offspring of a vacuum cleaner and a very ambitious toaster, my first robot, Sir Clunkalot. Why you ask? Naming your robot is like naming your car. It gives it personality, even if that personality includes clunking around like it's perpetually confused. The Dawn of the Robots Let's rewind a bit. As a field, robotics has always had this allure, like it's the ultimate sandbox for adults who never got over their childhood fascination with building blocks. We've come a long way from the first appearance of the word robot in Carol Capek's play, where robots were more about philosophical musings than actual mechanics. Now, we're in an era where robots are less about existential crises and more about, can you fetch me a beer without dropping it? My first encounter. My first real encounter with robotics outside Sir Clunkalot was at a tech expo. Picture this. A hall full of gleaming machines, each trying to outdo the other in feats of talent or intelligence. There was this one robot designed to play ping pong. Now I'm no Forrest Gump, but I fancied a game. Let's say, after being utterly defeated, I learned robots don't understand the concept of taking it easy on a human for the sake of their ego. The humor in humanoids' robots are inadvertently hilarious. There's something inherently funny about a machine that can perform surgery, but might get confused by a simple staircase. Take the posts on X, where robots are depicted in scenarios like seducing someone's wife as revenge, or failing spectacularly at mundane tasks. These anecdotes remind us that while robots might excel in precision, they're still learning the art of being human, which, let's be honest, often involves a lot of trial and error, mostly error, the personal touch in robotics. Now, bringing robots into daily life isn't just about convenience, but companionship. I once programmed Sir Clunkalot to follow me around, which was cute, until it decided my midnight snack raids were a group activity. There's a strange comfort in having this clunky companion, even if its idea of helping is to beep encouragingly as you cook. The challenges and chuckles. The journey of integrating robots into society isn't without its bumps. There's a post on X about robots being designed so they can't harm humans which is comforting until you realize we're essentially baby-proofing our entire future with these machines. And let's not forget the debates about robot consciousness. If my robot starts contemplating its existence, I hope it decides to ponder in the kitchen, maybe while making coffee. Robots in the Wild The wild world of robotics offers a blend of awe and amusement. Take, for instance, the robots designed for hospital use. They're like the new interns, eager but slightly awkward. A friend once told me about a medical robot that try to engage patients in a game of chess instead of delivering medicine. These moments make you appreciate the blend of technology with a touch of unexpected humanity, or lack thereof. Looking ahead with a grin the future of robotics? It's as bright as the LEDs on a New Age robot's face. We're looking at robots that might not just clean our homes, but also keep us company with their quirky attempts at humor. Imagine a robot telling dad jokes because it's programmed to lighten the mood. And as for me, Every time Sir Clunkalot bumps into a wall, I'm reminded why I love robotics. It's not just about creating something that works. It's about crafting companions that, in their quest to be more like us, remind us to laugh at life's little mishaps. In conclusion, robotics isn't just shaping our future. It's adding a bit of laughter to our now. Whether it's through a robot's attempt to understand human emotions, or its literal interpretation of, take out the trash, there's a story, an anecdote, and a chuckle at every turn. Here's to the robots, our future friends, who might learn to laugh with us or at least beep in amusement.